Hello folks, uh, this is Didi Pham talking to you from uh, Lincoln Village, San Antonio, Texas. Uh, welcome back to uh, OneManMedia.us and uh, today uh, I want to add a few more points just before I want to conclude the, the series the series of uh, you know releases of my uh, website as long as the surveillance software be unborn watch and uh, so uh, one more time yeah please uh, please just go to the website onemanmedia.us uh, click on the tab the unborn watch and uh, and like I, like I said, uh, this is going to be the final video for the series. Um, at least, you know, before I move on to, uh, you know, to talk about my mother's will. But uh, it's going to be in uh, Vietnamese. So, uh, uh, but you know, in my mind, uh, uh, I think it doesn't matter. I'm going to speak in uh, Vietnamese or English. I think all the uh, interested uh, interested group uh, they will get it. They will understand. So <laughs> I, I always you know keep that in mind. So uh, uh, let's say uh, okay. Uh, actually, you know before I'm gonna go uh, through the list, I have to uh, I have to talk about something very important because it just came into my my. Uh, uh, last night, because I uh, I was uh, watching the video about uh, you know someone called that is the uh, ethnic cleansing happening in uh, Myanmar, and uh, it's important because uh, it was about uh, it was about uh, uh, Buddhism in general because uh, one of the top monks over there. Uh, look like uh, you know at least you know according to the reporter, uh, look like you know he encouraged the uh, military to uh, to kill the uh, non Buddhists. So uh, that is terrible, and I just want to confirm that uh, you know if you know any god you're teaching you something like that, absolutely we should kill that god too. And uh, by the way, when I, when I mentioned that, kill the God, just meaning the, just kill the belief, because you know, of course, we cannot kill any God, right? Because uh, <laughs> that's just uh, ironical. So, uh, once again, uh, I want to confirm that, uh, at least to my knowledge, the great Buddha never, never taught something like that. So uh, I think the top monk in uh, Myanmar could be, uh, he got a corrupted uh, faith in Buddhism. So uh, one more time, any god, you know, any god just uh, encouraged the believers to kill the non-believers. Absolutely, we should kill that god. And... Uh, Oh, by the way, I just uh, want to mention briefly because uh, when talking about uh, when I watched the video, of course, it related to also the Pope uh, come to the region to try to uh, to mitigate the situation. So uh, I just want everyone to keep in mind. Yes, for now, I, I think a long time ago already, I uh, see Vatican as a political organization also, not just religious, because now the Vatican holding a very, very uh, strategic and powerful position in the world. Uh, even in our own nation, uh, I do believe, you know, the Russian uh, collusion, there's something, there's something uh, to do with the uh, with the church, with the uh, Vatican itself, it's not yeah. Because now we're talking about th talking about the Catholic Church. I think it's just there's a, a vast discrepancy in term, even in terms of the belief itself. The vast discrepancy among the groups inside the church. So uh, I, I no, I, I don't I don't buy into it because you know uh, I gave example already. So. Uh, 
uh, uh, Nancy Pelosi, for example, is a Catholic, so it doesn't mean anything about you know uh, uh, Catholic or in general or uh, or the Vatican itself. So uh, just uh, forget about it. And I just want to emphasize that yes, uh, I can say Vatican as an international church and holding a lot of power uh, in the world, uh, even our, the Russian collusion may be, you know, something related. Because I, I did talk a uh, long time ago uh, in my previous videos about, uh, uh, about Vatican and uh, Obama administration uh, also uh, worked on uh, the Cuba, Cuba situation. And I also, at the time, I doubted maybe Vatican work with the Vietnam communists in my case. So I'm not really sure, but if you want to find out, just uh, find out more, go back to the previous video and uh, you can take a look. And uh, by the way, uh, talking about Buddhism, I uh, want to mention that even at the time, the great Buddha was uh, teaching uh, and tried to spread out his uh, uh, ideology or his religion. Uh, at that time, he always you know, asked his own disciples to challenge him, to challenge him on uh, everything. So that's why I say uh, originally, he, uh, I, I can say that he was a very, very good man. And uh, for me, I can say that uh, also, I, I did emphasize already, uh, one of my teachers also, Jesus, Buddha, and Einstein. So uh, that's the reason why I say uh, briefly mention about it. And uh, uh, so let's. Uh, oh, by the way, uh, about the um, when you know when I say I'm gonna go back to uh, when I talk about my mother's will to my ex family about uh, so so in Vietnamese so. I just want briefly to bring a little bit of, you know, the Vietnamese wisdom in here. Uh, his name was Nguyen Bình Hiem, and uh, you can consider or you can argue that, you know, he was the top architect of the Nguyen dynasty. Uh, dynasty. So in Vietnamese, of course, the Nguyen last name is the most popular. And uh, I want to say, uh, uh, I did say it before already. Uh, for now, I, I just don't, also I don't buy into the last name also, because uh, um, especially, especially now, I do recognize that the, uh, for the uh, Chinese Vietnamese, uh, some group, they try to play with that also, they try to play and uh, even they, they tried to change the last name to Nguyen, so they, uh, they got the political advantage in Vietnam. I'm going to talk a lot more at, uh, you know, at length uh, in uh, Vietnamese when I talk uh, about my mother's will, but uh, just briefly. So Nguyen Bình Hiem, uh, he got a very, very special poem. I learned uh, not, not in the high school curriculum, but uh, yes, I did the research for myself and I learned a long time ago. But uh, I started to, uh, to contemplate on the uh, poem really, you know, later in my life. Because uh, why? Because, you know, after I went through all kind of uh, dirty stuff and uh, I realized that, you know, uh, the two lines in his poems, it just absolutely just make me, uh, uh, you know, make me uh, contemplate a lot more and dig deep into, uh, you know, try to think a lot more about two lines. So I want to share with you the two lines. Okay, the first four, just forget about it, uh, but let's say. Um, so he say, khôn mà hiểm độc là khôn dại, dại vốn hiền lành, ấy dại khôn. Just simple uh, for the translated uh, version, he say, 
when you say you you wise and you visas and you try to use your wisdom for the visa stuff uh, and for the uh, uh, visas and uh, uh, for the even uh, I can say that for the stupid uh, accent. So meaning that uh, that wisdom just turn turning into the stupidity and. The, 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 the second line it should be uh, uh, the reverse. When you unwise and you really nice to the people and you be nice, uh, so mean, meaning that your your niceness and uh, at least you know your courtesy to uh, humanity, just try to uh, just try to enhance your wisdom so it is like the, the reverse of the, the, the first line I try to explain right so uh, that's why I say later on in my life I was thinking a lot more about the poem uh, even I learned that poem a long long time when I was very even uh, around uh, 13 14 at that time because uh, like I said before I uh, I grew up very very early, so uh, uh, so that is the, the, the very small part of the uh, Vietnamese uh, wisdom I want to share with uh, all of you, and uh, also related to uh, Vietnamese literature, I uh, just want to confirm one thing because it's important uh, because uh, someone just tried to tell me okay maybe you don't care much about life even yourself so why why you ha why you have the right to uh, uh, to voice uh, to voice out your opinion on the abortion uh, topic uh, so uh, I just want to confirm that even Amstan yes uh, refused the treatment uh, when he got the uh, internal uh, inter internal uh, bleeding and he said that you know uh, look like I contributed uh, enough for humanity so it's time for me to go and also uh, another uh, uh, Vietnamese uh, poet I, I, I want to make sure that you know everyone understand that Nguyễn Du, the Vietnamese poet I admire uh, absolutely the top the top Vietnamese poet and uh, and one of his uh, long, 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 long poems, <laughs> I remember all 3,254 lines. And uh, of course, you know, after the, this series, I'm going to have the series to talk about that uh, poem too. Because, you know, it's a long time ago, I didn't go, go back, but I say uh, it's very good uh, access, my access. So that's why I have to. Uh, uh, one more time, dig deep into that, yeah, because I did record it uh, before, uh, but you know now those videos are lost, at least to my um, possession. But uh, I know that is still somewhere because uh, I know that even you know my uh, own family uh, try uh, maybe under the pressure of the hidden dirty beings, you know, try to uh, even uh, you know. Uh, destroy or forget about uh, the videos I uh, tried to send uh, send back to them when I was in Vietnam and uh, one of my uh, nephew came back to visit Vietnam at that time I did uh, give him the uh, USB with all of my uh, music video and also the uh, Kyo videos so uh, the series you know I did post on the YouTube and then later on I deleted everything in that account so the account was the the uncle farm and uh, somehow later on when I lost uh, I lost those videos uh, I asked uh, when I came back to San Jose the communist uh, deported me back to San Jose I asked the, the nephew actually I just asked my sister to talk to him because I, I didn't want anything to do with the uh, with uh, the whole uh, my brother's family anymore so that's why I asked my sister Nhung to ask uh, the uh, the nephew okay whether you still keep the USB so you know uh, 
I want it back because I lost uh, the original already. So, uh, but uh, the interesting about Nguyễn Du also, he, he kind of uh, refused, he's, uh, he was kind of uh, refused uh, the treatment himself. You know, uh, he got uh, illness and uh, only he was around at the age of uh, 55, I believe, uh, 55. And he, uh, he, he, he did refuse the, uh, the, the treatment, uh, so that's why uh, he said also it's time for him to pass away. But uh, I just want to uh, bring up Einstein and also with you to talk about, uh, to emphasize one thing that I always fight for my life until the last, 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 you know, the split second. So that's why I say uh, not to worry about anything about, you know, how I'm going to handle my health. And uh, uh, I did say that already, you know, before uh, the, the hidden dirty being tried to stop me uh, going to the gym. I almost had the routine at least three times a week. I have uh, the, the very good routine of the exercise. Uh, but even now, uh, I stay in my, my own apartment. I still try my best to keep up with the uh, exercise, but uh, it's not as quality as, uh, as uh, working in a gym. But uh, what can I say, right? What can I say? But just keep in mind, always, always, because uh, I did share before about uh, when you and uh, someone uh, told me about uh, Yes, um, maybe, you know, for my mentality, maybe I'm, uh, I, uh, I'm not serious about, you know, taking care of my health and uh, my, uh, you know, uh, condition in general. So that's not true. Absolutely. It doesn't matter how, uh, how Buddhism, you know, uh, influenced me in terms of, you know, there is and there is not. That's, uh, that's a very deep, uh, uh, deep teaching uh, from the uh, Buddha himself, but uh, I don't have a time to talk it, uh, about, about it here, but as like I say, uh, just uh, no worry about my health in general. I always try to fight my best to keep it, keep it up, and uh, it doesn't matter, you know, how, what kind of dirty, you know, I know that, you know, even uh, I doubt about, about my water right now. I doubt about everything, even in, in Vietnam. I know for sure that they put something in my food, but absolutely, uh, absolutely sure. But uh, I'm not sure because, you know, uh, it is very tricky because uh, if I conclude that is some sort of a poison, maybe I could be wrong, I could be, you know, baited into uh, their trap. Uh, but uh, that's why in, even in Vietnam, I gave uh, my relatives a very good example. Uh, for example, when you got a cold, you take the Tylenol, it's fine, that's good. But, you know, if you give the Tylenol to uh, a cat, you will kill the cat. So that is see, sensitive enough for people to understand, right? So that's why I say, I cannot say they put the poison in my food, but I say for 200% sure some sort of, you know, uh, uh, some sort of uh, chemical in there to, to mess up with my health. Uh, so, uh, so that's why I say, even now, I doubt about my water system. I doubt about my food, even I buy, I buy in, the, in the supermarket. But uh, what can I say? So uh, the, the whole thing could be you know, summarized by one of my very important positions I say long, long before. Hey, TD farm fail, this world will fail. That's simple. So that's why, that's why I say it is very, very uh, simple explanation or simple quote like that can explain a lot. So. Uh, Okay, let's uh, move right into the prompter. Uh, let's see what I have it here. Uh, okay, uh, the first one I want to emphasize about 
the camps I would uh, build. Uh, so I want to build two camps. I want to build two camps. One to isolate the hidden dirty beings, you know, who are very, very aggressive with the unborn. Even try to kill the unborn boys, unborn girls, meaning that at a time uh, we know the gender of the fetus already. So that is one camp to isolate those, you know, I can say that those horrible creatures out of our society. That's what I want. And the second camp I want to build to somehow to have the money or the resource to raise up the unwanted uh, children, unwanted children. So you, uh, I can imagine, I can uh, uh, convince people to keep uh, their pregnancies or pre uh, their fetus so they're going to give birth and uh, so that child going to be automatically go to my second camp. And that is also the, uh, the idea and the, uh, the uh, inspiration I got from my, uh, my uh, Vietnamese song named Ký ức một bà mẹ, talking about uh, abortion. Uh, because I still remember, but that's uh, the long story, but uh, I still remember. I listened uh, to a nun from uh, uh, radio, Đức mẹ hằng cứu giúp. I don't know how to translate to uh, English, but uh, of course uh, that is uh, the title for the uh, the Virgin Mary, uh, the, the 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 name of the radio station, and uh, that's why I got the inspiration to write that song right uh, on that night when I listened to that uh, the, uh, the, that radio program, and. Uh, so that's why I say uh, the second camp is that, that's, uh, for that meaning, okay? So, uh, okay, let's move back to the prompter and uh, 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 let's see what I have here. Mm. So uh, I want to mention to the, uh, to the hit, to the aggressive creature that uh, uh, we require 21 years of age, you know, uh, to take in some kind of toxic stuff like alcohol, yeah, because uh, now we go to the bar, uh, we have to have uh, we have to show your ID, right? Twenty one years of age to buy some kind of alcohol. So uh, that's why I say, to, you know, to my understanding and to my uh, knowledge, uh, absolutely, I can say that. Uh, the, uh, the theory of uh, Darwin absolutely much more toxic. So uh, I just uh, love to have a recommendation to, uh, the, to uh, Secretary uh, DeVos, uh, the, the Secretary of Education, right? Uh, please try to think of, you know, try to put our to put the, uh, the theory of uh, evolution out of high school curriculum completely, completely. Just wait until, you know, the kids enter the, uh, the college. So uh, they can, maybe at that time, they're gonna have enough wisdom to, you know, to, 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 to analyze and to absorb some kind of, you know, toxics like that. So uh, that is very, very important. So Secretary uh, DeVos, if you uh, have a chance to listen to this video, please, 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 I beg you, consider, consider take out the Darwinism from uh, a high school level. And for the note, it is just even, you know, this more disgusting. I even see Darwinism in the elementary school. In California, when I was uh, I was the uh, teaching assistant over there, yeah, because I tried to get some uh, uh, some sort of experience for my teaching credential. So uh, I, at that time, 
uh, somehow when I, you know, hang around with the kids in the library. Yeah, I just found out that they even include the uh, some sort of uh, Darwinism some materials in the elementary school's library. So that's so horrible. Uh, so, uh, but you know, uh, that's why I say I should one more time, I think I did mention before already, but I should one more time mention about this uh, elementary school, the Wickham High School on the, uh, I believe this, uh, on the uh, Chapman. And uh, the principal at the time was uh, Mr. Uh, Thornston. And also, also I believe, uh, I know for sure that uh, he, 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 he is a Christian, but I'm not sure he uh, was a Catholic or not. But uh, I just want to tell it here because uh, my, uh, my uh, credential program, the teaching credential program, uh, I think it does have something to do with, uh, with this principal or the, 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 the school staff uh, uh, itself. Yeah, because I, uh, I want to tell it again. They accepted me into the program but somehow didn't finance me. But I, I think that's absolutely wrong because uh, the math teachers in California is absolutely in the, uh, in the big shortage, in a big shortage, because why I say they even try to get the teachers like I know from uh, uh, Philippines, uh, even uh, some from Vietnam, so that's why I say there's no way, there's no way that they, they, they deny this financial aid to, to me as a U.S. citizen and try to be a math teacher, try to be the math teacher. I pass all the math tests and everything even in the, the prerequisite uh, course in the summer and uh, somehow later on, yes, I send me the letter of acceptance. I think I still have it in my belongings. And, uh, and uh, somehow they deny the financial aid. And that's, that's why that I, I think that's serious. And that's why I try uh, uh, later on, I try to dig deep into that, but you know, no one uh, gave me the, the, the very uh, straightforward answer. And even, even in one of the uh, orientation I participated, uh, I talked to the, the, the head of the program they gave me the hint that yes, they are Christian too. I'm not really sure again that is the uh, the Catholic or but I know for sure the UC Urban UC Urban uh, I think they uh, they have a very good connection with the Catholic Church. I know that, so that's why I say uh, once again there's something there's something wrong with the Catholic Church uh, going against me or or maybe because of my belief or not, but, uh, but at least they didn't treat me well in terms of, you know, uh, in, even in the public arena, meaning that the teaching create credential program, absolutely that's public. That's public in a university, University of California, the, the system, the UC system. So uh, briefly mentioned about that, and I don't, I'm not sure because I say that, could be the, the, the influence of uh, the principal of, at the Wickham Elementary School uh, because, you know, I asked him to uh, write the letter of recommendation, right? And also one of uh, one of the teacher, I forgot her name, but uh, I asked, uh, I think, three, the total of three, uh, the principal and 